Red or black? You don't want to know. But an eyeful of you goes a long way into soothing financial pain. Married men like you. I'm surprised I still have that effect on you. Hey, Blaze, come on. I'm married. I'm not dead. And it's always been my experience that beautiful women always know their effect on men. Mm -hmm. Well, we were quite a team yesterday, weren't we? The way we engineered that meeting between Christina and Ethan so they could get a chance to say they were sorry to each other. Well, you engineered it. I just kept an eye on your caboose. Uh, well, it was a gamble, and it paid off. Yeah, I want to thank you for what you did for Ethan. He needed that. It was very generous of you. So, what now? What are you uh, up to? Excuse me? When a goddess tells me that we make a good team, it means she wants something from me. Oh, Luke, you're still a cynic. No, baby, I'm not a cynic. I'm a romantic who has seen the world. You were done with the chuckles. You went away, and suddenly you walk through my door. I've been wondering, what's up? What do you want? What's the plan, and where do I fit into it? Ah, there you are. Now, things are so tedious at Windermere these days. I just needed a nice visit with you to boost my spirits. Sorry, I didn't, didn't mean to disturb you. Believe me, I have all the time in the world to lie here and count the dots on the ceiling. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I've done that before. I always lose count and have to start over. <laughs> I thought I'd met all the good-looking doctors in this hospital. Although I don't remember any of them wearing a badge and a sidearm. I swear, officer, it's for medicinal purposes only. <laughs> I'll, I'll let it go, just this once. <laughs> That's what I like, a cop who knows how to look the other way. How can I help you, officer? Oh, I was, uh, I was just looking for Elizabeth Weber. The front desk said she might be in here. You're the ex-husband. Elizabeth speaks of you. Yeah, I'm Lucky Spencer. Shirley Smith. Oh, it's a pleasure to meet you, Shirley Smith. All right, Miss Shirley, I got your blood test back. Your timing could use a little work. I've been very busy flirting with this gorgeous young man. Michael. I'm busy here. Oh, so I see. You're the one with the unfortunate name, aren't you? Apple, blanket, sky. Of course, sky. <laughs> well, at least you keep your dalliances in the family. The Hunter Star is closed. Oh, I, I know, and I was so hoping to have you all to myself. Be a dear, won't you? Oh, I wouldn't dream of imposing. I know how much Luke loves his time with you, Helena. Oh, please, don't. Please Luke, don't go. not to worry. I'll be back. <sighs> Alone at last. Now, let's get down to business. Let me get my garrote and chainsaw. That sounds intriguing, but it's not that kind of business. That's the only kind of business you and I have, darling. No, no, we have other business. You can't expect me to extricate that little tramp Elizabeth from Lucky's life all by myself. When I was little, I used to sneak into my mother's tall boy and borrow her jewelry. <laughs> I felt like a princess. Uh, it wasn't until I grew up that I realized most of it was plastic and glass. Talk about bursting my bubble. That one doesn't work for you. Try this. There you go. The jewelry doesn't have to be genuine as long as the woman is. Don't you agree, detective? Well, my uh, dad always taught me from an early age never to voice my opinion about a woman's appearance except to say that, that she looks beautiful. <laughs> Your father sounds like a wise man. Or a player. He was both. And which are you? Wise or a player? No, I'm afraid I'm not much of either. Well, if you question your wisdom, you're probably wiser than most. <laughs> no, what about you? Sadly, I'm not a player. Anymore. <laughs> But I'm reeking with wisdom. Just look at my prognosis. 
It seems like the minute they say you're terminal, you, you become a flippin' oracle. Not every prognosis is accurate. You know that. Now, we're gonna let you get back to your creations, and we'll be on our way. We'll see you soon, Shirley. I'll try to define the meaning of life next time. <laughs> doesn't look that bad. You know, with her attitude, I honestly think she can go into remission. Hey. Hey. The permission slip for the daycare thing? Thank you for bringing that over. Yeah, it's no problem. I had to uh, question an assault victim anyway. Can I ask you for a favor? Do you think maybe you could take the boys on Saturday? Shirley invited me over to her place. Yeah. Yeah, I'll take them out for Italian food. You know how Jake loves his biscotti. <laughs> It's even cuter when Cameron says, no, Jake, it's Gabetti. <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks. I'd really like to spend some time with Shirley. I've never, uh, never seen you connect with a patient like this before. I try not to. But have you ever met someone that you felt like you've known your entire life? I mean, that's Shirley. She's, she's just special. Oh, she's fond of you. I can tell. We talk about everything, philosophy, art, life, death. She has such a great attitude. And she reminds me that no matter what, I have an awful lot to be grateful for. This little tango we do is going to get bloody and ugly if you cause Lucky any more grief. Oh, quite the opposite. Now, Lucky has been cuckolded by that little tart too many times. Now she's carrying his brother's child? I'm just trying to spare your son more grief. Right. And I'm Marie, cross-dressing consort to the Queen of Romania. You wouldn't spare Lucky anything. Well, if you insist, but if I get my way, you will definitely share in the benefits. Which would be? Elizabeth is carrying my great-grandchild. Now, Nicholas has some absurd notion of sharing custody after the child is born. Meanwhile, Elizabeth is holding Nicholas at arm's length because of some delusional hope that she'll get Lucky back. So far, I'm not hearing my name in any of this. Just be patient. Luke, we all know that what's best for this new baby, this new Cassidine, is that the baby be raised by Cassidines as a Cassidine. Now, Elizabeth has to deal with Nicholas realistically or turn the child over to him outright. But as long as Lucky is in the picture, Elizabeth is going to cling to the hope that she can get him back, that she can play on his sympathies, that she, she's hoping that he will defend her. Well, that's up to Lucky. That's not up to me or you. Luke. We are realists, you and I. Now, look, I'm not going to live forever. <laughs> well, that's a relief. <laughs> Why did I know you'd say that? Now, I'm not going to have another chance. And what does it mean to you? I mean, what harm is it for you to help me to see that my great-grandson is reared as one of my own? <laughs> <laughs> what harm is it? <laughs> are you serious? Oh, God. What are you up to, you insane woman? Well, I'm so glad I can still amuse you. Helena Cassadine's stay in Port Charles? Not as much as I'd like to. That's what I was afraid of. She was in here earlier, so I'm sure that she's up to no good. She told me that she wants me to help her keep Elizabeth away from Lucky so that she can have that new rug rat all to herself. Anything to get your attention? Well, Just look. another round in the old boxing match. No, no, no. The only thing that makes Helena happier than knowing she's making me miserable is making sure I know that she's making me miserable. What I can't figure out is how that baby fits into it. It's an excuse to flirt. 
do so at your own peril. Leave the hell alone. Ah, as predicted. You couldn't be more protective of the child she's carrying if it was actually yours. <laughs> <laughs>